Check to find the limit as x approaches infinity of x to the 1 over x. So solution. So in this case, we have the form that we have is infinity to the 0. That's the, that's the form. Um, so what we want to do is we want to write it in a way that lets us use L'Hopital's rule. So to do that, in this case, it's actually easier to just set y equal to x to the 1 over x. Why? Because now you can take the natural log of both sides. So we get natural log of y equals the natural log of x to the 1 over x. Then use the power rule to bring this down. So we get the natural log of y equals 1 over x times the natural log of x. And what has this done? Well, if we look at this limit, if we take the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of y, this is the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of x over x. And now we're in a position where we can use L'Hopital's because we have the indeterminate form infinity over infinity. So using L'Hopital's, so I'll put LH here, we get the limit as x approaches infinity. Uh, the natural, the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Right? We take derivatives, it's L'Hopital's, and the derivative of x is 1. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x, which is 0. Now, is that the answer? No way. No, absolutely not. So we showed that the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of y is equal to 0. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of y is equal to 0. Written another way, i.e. it est, this means that the natural log of y approaches 0. So e to the natural log of y approaches e to the 0. So y approaches 1. But what's y? y is what we started with. So x to the 1 over x approaches 1 as x approaches infinity. So the answer in this case is 1.